right, guys, welcome back in the fish room. The guys, first time tuning in, Ron Johnson, fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and soon to be therapist. And it's time for some musical chairs. What that means is that moving fish around in bigger tanks, making room for other fish, and getting things ready to go. So I'm standing right behind the tank. I'm gonna work on today. So you guys see here, you see, uh, where's the bass? It's right there, so you see the bass. You see Diamond, and you see Ray, and there's Jack here. They've been together in this tank now for a while, and I've been waiting until Big Dan's old tank here is actually cycled, and it is cycled, and I'm moving the fish today because I want them to grow out. I got Bonnie and Clyde, which are here. They're almost done, their quarantine period. Get the tank ready for them. Wigglies need to go out of this tank into the tank behind me, so a lot of work to do. I'm gonna show you guys what's gonna happen. Stay tuned, and always subscribe. Thanks for listening. All right, guys, you guys know I'm moving the fish from this tank to the big tank there to the side. So we got the 150, and to be honest, overall, to be honest, I'm definitely a little nervous about moving fish around because, you know, it's a scary thing. You know, you hope they you do the best you can. I test my water, so I'm not worried about that, but it's time to give Ray, Diamond, and these guys a bigger home, which is the 150 there. So. Be careful when you go to catch a ray, that's for sure. So it means a giant net and make sure I don't, I don't stress the ray out. Oh, there's ray, she's already gone. So I can get diamond. Oh, that one's actually a little bit easier. Take diamond here. And it's gonna flip around a little bit. There's gonna be water on the floor. Give it his new tank. Quick, nice and gentle. And there we go. Oh, ho, diamond gets a new tank. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now let's go back. Let's get Ray. She is definitely fast. I don't want to make sure I don't stress her out or any harm. So I'm putting that in front because that's what's going to take. Make sure I don't get stung because she is much bigger than Diamond itself. So there we go. Oh, she is heavy. Well, bring over here. The bottom water on the floor and put her in the tank. And there we go. You guys got a brand new homie. A lot of space. Now, I'm go over here. I'm going to catch the bass. He's fast. There. Oh, one shot. I got him already. I'm going to go up. You're probably saying, thank God I'm going to the new home. So bring everybody over here into the new 150. Awesome. They're probably like, Farrell, what the heck is going on? Jack's been here for months, so I'm gonna get him out. He's probably definitely a little nervous. Yep, it's gonna be a little hard to catch. Yep, 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 I got him. And put water on the floor, and move them all over to new one. And that was a smooth, easy fish move. So I'm gonna clean this water up, let them sit there, and let them get acclimated to the new environment. They're probably gonna be a little scared, a little nervous in the fish room, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them, make sure they're okay, let the pumps running. Let's try, try to get acclimated to the fish room. So, as you guys know, this is Ron Johnson, mental health coach, fish enthusiast, and soon be a therapist. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Stay tuned for more things about learning about fish. I take care of them. And that's it, guys. Subscribe. So now I'm gonna take Wiggly's, my deformed Oscar rescue, and move him old stingray tank, which is there. So let's do that right now. Oh, he does not like the fish net, so he's gonna he is a fighter. So I'm trying to make sure this splash too much. Oh. As always, good splash. Move him over here in a different tank. Whoa! Come on, dude. I'm trying to get you out. There you go. 